Hey guys, uh, I got to Israel a couple days ago in order to visit family, come to a, a cousin's wedding and just have some uh, good time. And uh, yesterday morning there were sirens out of really nowhere. Usually you know when it stands and there could be some attacks, but this time it was a complete surprise. Um, you know, went to hide in a bunker and uh, you know, it's kind of Israeli to say, but I thought it was only missiles only rockets coming from Gaza. Uh, to my surprise, when I turned the news on, it's much more than that. Palestinian terrorists uh, got in from the border from 15 different spots. Uh, they've entered the country. There were kids raving, doing a, a rave, a party, dancing, having fun, pretty close to the border. They surrounded them and shot them down. This is thousands of, of young adults and you know teenagers, hundreds of them dead. Uh, at the moment, you know, it was a big shock. They kept coming into villages, you know, butchering families, shooting them down with RPGs, with automatic rifles, just shooting everybody down, throwing grenades, and also taking many hostage. So many kids from the rave hostage, many families hostages, kids, uh, you know, the elderly shooting them down in the street. They kidnapped one 85-year-old Holocaust survivor and just doing horrible things, war crimes, nothing against military, nothing against the police, nothing that would make them fighters, freedom fighters. They're just terrorists uh, attacking civilians and trying to cause as much damage as harm as they can before they meet actual warriors, actual policemen, actual soldiers in conflict, in armed conflict. And, um, you know, so far it's been not 48 hours yet, but getting close to it. And from the numbers we've seen, it's uh, 5,000 rockets shot into Israel. It's uh, over 2,000 wounded, 700 murdered, over 100 uh, estimated uh, kidnapped, taken hostage into Gaza. And this is what they've always been trying to do to us. This time they uh, succeeded in getting in, but the war is still uh, ongoing. And uh, there are still many, you know, that are missing and could turn up dead or taken hostage or who knows what. Uh, many women raped, raped before they they got killed, before they got murdered, or before they got taken hostage. While they're getting taken hostage, uh, just horrible stuff. And uh, you know that the sheep mask is off, and everybody can see the wolf. This is what Palestinian terrorists have always been wanting to do to us. And this is why we've been defending ourselves this whole time. This is why we always strike military targets. And we, you know, as a moral army, actually try and hurt soldiers, actually try and kill heads of their leadership and just uh, anybody that wants to arm us. If you don't want to arm us, we have nothing against you. But, uh, you know, now enough is enough. We've taken the gloves off and... Uh, we're going to have to defend ourselves, we're going to have to strike back, and it's going to be pretty hard. So, you know, we'd love your support, but we don't need it. Israel has the right to defend itself, and we are going to do that.